Mike starting out with Way Over Recipes and today I'm going to be grilling chicken wings in the New Wave Primo grill oven. So we're going to get some nice grilled wings going right now. Alright so for this cook I got myself some fresh Tyson chicken wings. For anyone who feels they need to be washed in advance please see the food safety playlist in the video description. I've got for this cook some extra virgin olive oil, I've got some hickory smoke sea salt, some Old Bay seasoning, and some black pepper that I'll be freshly cracking over the chicken. But to start, I'm going to pour some of this oil into this bowl, and I'm going to get these wings covered well in oil. And after I get them covered well with oil, then I'll start applying the spices. Alright, so I've got these wings well oiled and seasoned. As many of you know who have watched many of my videos, I don't remove the tips, although I am aware that I could. I choose not to. Now I'm going to get a meat probe into one of these uh, pieces of chicken. Got that in there good. Alright, now I'm going to put the lid on. And make sure that I got my cord in there good. Got my lid on tight. So basically this is going to be a 100% probe cook. I'm not even going to flip these. I'm just going to let the grill do its work until it's done. So turn it on. I'm going to just go ahead and grill them hot at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to hit the probe button. I'm going to take it up to 180 because that's where I want to go. For you who want to do 165, and I know 165 is the safe temp, you can do 165, but I'm doing 180, 50% top and bottom heating elements. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start, and we'll let this cook. All right, we're at 179 degrees and it's done. I'm just turning it off. Let's see what we got going on. You can see a lot of steam came off because of that oil. Those are our finished uh, grilled chicken wings. I guess if I flipped them, they would have had, you know, maybe some sear marks on the opposite side and such, but they're all done. So let's take our instant read thermometer and get some temperature reading. See if I can get further in into a piece of meat. I wasn't going far enough in. You see that's 210. This is the piece with the meat probe. It's like in the 170s and rising. So it's definitely done. Shows the meat probe is keeping an accurate temp. Let me get deeper in this one. Yeah, real hot there. Get into that meat, you get a real good read. The instant read thermometer works great. So that one's all done there. So all of them are done. You know, I didn't check maybe that one over there, but we know they're all done. So basically just going to take one, I like the look of this one, and just plate that. We should have a closer look at it. There we go. Looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now, just let things set for a while, you know, carry over might even make them a little hotter before they're done but just let it set rest let things cool down a little bit I'm not gonna bite in any 200 degree piece of chicken but when I bring you back I'll have the camera swapped around we'll do a taste test but before I do that let's have a look underneath no real sear marks on the bottom there so didn't get any searing there we did grill them but we didn't get any searing I guess we could have uh, you know, hit the sear button or something and make sure we got a sear if we wanted that. And maybe the oil may have even 
you know, prevented some of the extra searing that may have happened if there wasn't the oil underneath or something. But at any rate, my wings are done and they look good. So once things are cooled down, we're gonna taste them. All right, here's our grilled chicken wing. Now that it's less than 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you can just bite in and do a taste. Gotta wipe a little here. All right, so the wing definitely tastes good. We know that it's definitely done by temperature. You sometimes when you're cooking chicken, you might get a little uh, the pink hemoglobin still in there, but we know that it's very well done. And it came out good. Got eight on the grill plate with no problem. Probably could have fit 10 if I had 10. So the grill plate holds a good number of wings and everything turned out good. So definitely looking forward to your comments. You can find this and other recipes in written form at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com. Twitter and Instagram are also Wave Oven Recipes. And the podcast is anchor.fm slash waveovenrecipes. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel. And good eating.